My name is Paul Keener. I'm the president of Building and Land Technology based in Stanford, Connecticut. And it is our pleasure to welcome you this morning to the ribbon cutting of the Paramount, which is the crown jewel of the beacon. Built in 1939, we are proud to bring it back to life today in 2014. This is part of the largest restoration in the United States. And the Paramount itself has now been transformed into 231 luxury apartments. This is the third conversion that we have completed in the last 30 months, which if you do the math is close to 600 units in the last 30 months that we have re both restored. The first two buildings are 95% rented and this building is on its way to 50% rented in a short period of time. This only happens with the team effort. Uh, we thank our team at BLT for all their hard work over the last 30 months. We thank our partner, George Philopoulos from MetroVest for his hard work in getting this started. We then go to the city, and I, I won't go through every name, but many of you are here from the council to redevelopment, to housing, to planning, to health, to building, all the departments that made this possible, both from the infancy to where we are today. So we offer you a debt of gratitude for your support and uh, enthusiasm in making this happen. We also thank our team of architects and engineers and builders, uh, both local and from afar, that have come together to make this possible, uh, including the National Park Service that has allowed this to, to be on the register of national places, which is a real testament, as you can see behind me, for good reason why this is on the register. Before I move on to the mayor, I just want to thank one special per person that allowed this to happen. Uh, this was sort of our secret weapon. Uh, my brother, who is our chairman and CEO, and I had to call out all stops to make this happen. And we pulled our father, Carl Keener, out of semi-retirement, out of Naples, Florida. And he literally moved into the building to help us make sure that this happened on time on schedule and on budget. So I'd like to bring my dad, Carl Keener, up uh, as well to the front and thank him. It's nice to have a secret weapon in the family. So, so without further ado, I'd like to turn the podium over to Mayor Stephen Fulop and Thank you for your support and your leadership uh, to make this possible. Let me just echo the sentiments of Paul and Carl and say that this is a really proud day for Jersey City. We've been doing a lot of groundbreakings over the last couple months. The only thing better than a groundbreaking is a ribbon cutting. I think we could all appreciate that. And uh, today is really a significant one because this has been more than 10 years in the making. Um, we've gone through some challenging economic times. We've gone through some developer changes on this property. And the commitment from the city to getting this to where it is today um, has been steadfast through year after year after year. And I know it wouldn't have been possible without a significant partner like BLT and the Cooner family. And uh, the, the city as a whole uh, owes a debt of gratitude to uh, BLT for making that possible. You know, one thing they said earlier was that this is one of the uh, most significant significant revitalization or restoration projects in the entire country, which is very true. And the reason is because if you look at the historic structures that are here, the beacon as a whole, it really is magnificent. And when it was added to the historic registry, it really put limitations on what types of things can be changed, and it was important to the BLT family and to Jersey City to keep the aesthetics clean, pristine, um, symbolic of our past, while at the same time recognizing the city's future. And um, that's really happened here. This project's not in isolation in this area, and it speaks to a, a larger commitment to the McKinley Square area. Uh, just at the last council meeting, we saw the council uh, vote on a substantial development project across the street um, that is going to have substantial retail space, that is going to entirely energize 
that other side of the block. We saw several years ago St. Peter's University make a commitment to this area in a magnificent new student center, and that has really paid huge dividends for them. And uh, we, we think we're really still in the first or second inning of the potential that we see here in the commitment from the city standpoint. So today is a significant day. We congratulate you. We thank you for your commitment to Jersey City, and we're looking forward to doing these again in the next several years for the other projects. So thank you. Congratulations.